Okay, so there are two more rules that I should have told you about is a to the 1 upon n is the same as a to the 1 to the n root and a to the m upon n is the same as a to the m to the n root. So example here would be like a to the half is equals to a to the 1 to the square root. In this case, a to the 2 upon 3 is equals to a to the 2 to the cube root. All right. So that would cover all the laws, and now we will try to look at the question. All right. So I'm just looking at the, a random book here. Um, I'll try to solve something for you. Let's see. They have a to the two x is equal to one upon sixty four and solve for x. <clears throat> so in this case, we can apply the rule that you know when you have a to the minus m this is the same as 1 upon a to the m so what I'll do I'll try to deal with this guy here now what is 64 64 is um, it is same as 1 upon let us say um, 8, 8, 64, right? So 8 times 8. So this is same as 1 upon 8 squared. So now, <clears throat> if I apply this rule here, if I have 1 upon 8 to the square, this can become 8 to the minus 2. So, all you have to do in this question is to say 8 to the 2x is equal to 8 to the minus 2. So, it implies that 2x is equal to minus 2. So, if 2x is equal to minus 2, then x is equal to 1. Um, <clears throat> let me go through it back again. So I'm constrained by a couple of things while I'm using this space here. 8 to the 2x is equal to 1 upon 64. This is the same as 8 to the 2x is equal to 1 upon 8 multiplied by 8. This is the same as 8 to the 2x equals to 1 upon 8 to the square. Agree? Now, because this is using the rule, 1 and 1, right? You add, the base is the same, so you add the powers. So this becomes 8 to the 2x is equal to 1 upon 8 squared, but applying this law. Now we're doing the reverse. We're going from here to here. This part becomes 8 to the 2x is equal to 8 to the minus 2. Now the base is the same here, and there's an equal sign. So this implies that 2x is equal to minus 2. So what is x? So to find x, we divide by 2 here, and we divide by 2. This cancels, so x is equal to minus 1. All right. I'm sorry about the light infringement there, but I can try to write the answer here <laughs> okay I will x is equal to minus 1 okay guys um, I'll try to solve a few more questions like this for you but um, I'll label this video as solving um, some questions using the laws of indices or the rules of indices so that is all for now